So my dudes, welcome to MTV Cribs. So <laughs> let's check out the garageio in the cribo, bro. Alright, so yeah, here it is, dude. <laughs> Got all the bikes in the house. Uh don't really have any explanation for that, but just kind of started doing it and that's what happened. So <laughs> yeah, this is it right here. Just gonna give you guys a little tour of all the shit I got piled up in here, and that's basically what I'm gonna do. So, I've got all of my bikes, all of my different types of, you know, helmets and fenders and handlebars and tires and all the different kind of boots and gear and I keep everything. I'm a hoarder, so <laughs> I've got it all in here. It's somewhere, so. There's a pipe right there that uh, I destroyed when I crashed into somebody on a start one time. So, yeah, I still got that sucker, but uh, auction that bitch off for like two bucks if you want to buy it. But, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't get rid of anything. So, I just, I don't know. I feel like there's always a, you could use it for something, you know. Isn't that like the excuse you make when you're a hoarder? Like, oh, yeah, you could use that. Oh, don't throw it away, bro. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... Um, I guess we could just start it from the beginning here and just letting you guys know, um, got the GoPro, so I'll be putting out some real life videos, a ton of those really soon, so, uh, be looking out for that. Hopefully I can get rid of all this background noise. Um, I know the microphones are not quite as good on these GoPros here, so I'll just have to kind of see what I'm doing with that, but I will be, um... I'll be doing some like, you know, helmet cam videos on the 125 smacker over there and uh, some different cool stuff like that. I'll probably be doing like a backyard riding video pretty soon with that um, because that'll be something really easy I can do pretty quick and I won't have to like, you know, go all the way out to the track. And because uh, a lot of the tracks are closed when it's cold like this. So, um, but I may get into like doing some vlogs and whatnot. I don't know what I'm going to get into, but uh we don't know. So, uh, alright, let's just start it from the top. So it all started with the, the CRF230F. Um, be careful, boys. It'll get away from you if you ain't careful. So, uh, street and trail edition. So started with that. And then I'm going to kind of go through this quickly because I wanted to make a separate video going through all the kind of history of my bikes and stuff like that. Um, and I'm, I'm just kind of giving you guys a little, just a viewpoint into everything that's in here is what what this video is all about. So went from the 230, then to the 125 Smacker. Um, the 230s, I think it's an 08, and then it went to um, once you go blue, you never go back. But uh, no, it went to uh, the 125. I think that's an 04, and then went to the 250F. This is an 07. Then got a 252 Smoker. This is an 05. Then got the new. 16 250F. So, yeah, this is the first new bike I've ever got. And as you can see, the fender is not straight at all. <laughs> I completely bent the uh, subframe when I crashed it the first day on a track. So, um, yeah, whiskey throttled and like flew all the way off the track. It was the first time I ever rode with fuel injection. So, she was a little more peppy in my steppy than I thought. So, yeah, that's what happened with that. But, um, I always have the habit of like, scratching up the fenders when i kick when i get my leg over the bike i don't know why i do that you can sit on this one too god dang spencer you need to chill out bro scratching all the fenders up i just love the stock look on bikes i don't i've always liked that i don't really know why but i just always thought it was cool damn that's a new front tire i need to rip that sucker up uh, I've just put like a lot of random parts on these things and some of these older bikes and just haven't rode them, you know. It's, you get to like where you like one and then you kind of quit riding some of the other ones and that's what happens. But that 125's got a 144 kit on it. The 250F's got, the old 250F's got a, um, like a high compression piston, run race gas and stuff like that in it, but. Um, 252 strokes, cool. Suspension's, uh, a little gnarly. I don't know if that was just the year of it, like 05, 250, two strokes. I don't know if they just kind of had a weird suspension year, but suckers like, I don't, it's not really stiff, but it's like, I don't know. It's hard to explain it, but, uh, yeah. So that's kind of the quick little rundown of the bikes. And, um, I got some 
different helmets, boots. Um, I'm going to make a separate video where I go in there and kind of show off my different gear and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little uh, rundown of the little <laughs> dirt bike uh, garage room in the house. So yeah, it's uh, most people don't have this, but hey, you know, I don't really have another any other place to put them. So yeah, that's where it's at. So I can't really put them in the garage because uh, <laughs> my dad's got trucks in there and cars in there and everything else in there. So yeah, uh, let me just run you guys over here. So this is all of my old fenders and stuff. So I put a bunch of used to put a bunch of stickers and stuff on them, and a bunch of them are cracked and stuff like that from popping wheelies and crashing. But um, got some of like, you know, I've, I had two different sets of the uh, Thor Aloha because I or the two different pants sets because I ripped up uh, one set and uh, ripped the crotch out of them, so I had to buy another pant. But I've got one jersey. Um, those are in the back of my truck right now, so they're not actually in here, but, um, got grips, posters, shit, <laughs> all kinds of posters and stuff, me racing, but, uh, yeah, some of you guys may not even think I ride in real life, but been through it all, man, um, definitely rode a lot, just kind of slowed down here recently, uh, so that was kind of, you know, the difference, but got, like, radiators, fucking handlebars sprockets everything up in there so old seats and crap stock seats and stuff all the manuals everything like that chain lubes i need to get more of all of that um probably looks like i don't need to but i need to so uh but yeah new 250f is wicked bro Woo! that thing's got some power like, you got to respect this bike right here. You can't... The capability difference of, a like, an 07 250F and a 2016 250F is insanity, bro. Just the, like, the ability to go faster with it is so much more. Not just power-wise. I mean, just, like, you know, the feeling of the bike and the control of it in the corners and the... The smoothness of the bike and everything, it just, it's on another level, dude. I mean, you could soup an uh, 07 up and whatnot, but, I mean, there's just nothing like how they innovate the bikes and they innovate the technology and crap like that, but, uh, yeah, this thing's wicked. I couldn't imagine it with all the GYTR uh, stuff, you know, all the extra parts and stuff you can get for it, but um it's all the power i want that's the show <laughs> right now anyways i don't know if it's just you know first getting on a, a fuel injection bike or what it is but they are wicked dude like that power feels like a two-stroke it really does um when you go from one that's not fuel injected but yeah it's and the fact that i had a brand new back tire on it because it was a brand new bike that probably didn't help the case any you know, with getting the whiskey throttle and whatnot, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Still got the stock, uh, fenders and stuff on it. A little scratchy, scratchy over here, but that was from, and I crashed it again after that, like two, two rides after my first crash. I had another crash and broke my finger. I, uh, came up short on a, it was like a weird, just really weirdly built double. One of those where you had like all the room in the world to hit it, but I don't know. I just didn't quite have enough speed. Landed smack right on the top. Weird like backyard built double. You, you guys have probably seen those weird little jumps. Um, so I just smacked right on the top of it. And uh, <laughs> dude, when you get that like torque momentum that like kicks you off the bike, you can't do anything. It's not like you can, you know, save it. It just like whips your hands off the, the handlebars and you're done for. So um yeah i crashed broke my finger my finger's still uh pretty jacked up you probably can't tell on the camera but it's uh it's like i don't know how to explain it but like my my index finger's like rotated it's hard to explain but it's jacked up for sure but you know gotta live with it so uh but yeah that was the little tour of the dirt bike room gonna be making a crap load of these real life videos coming soon so be watching out for that but uh anyways thanks for watching the videos later dudes